Hi, my name is Mel Maloup, and I'm the program manager for System One for PowerGen. And right now, we're going to go over some user scenarios and how a person might use the system to either manage the assets in your plant or to troubleshoot some incidents that might be happening. So, along with the templates, there are some ways we do plot presentations and data presentations that are com should be common across the different installations, not only for different System One installations, but for the different machines and assets within the plant. In the latest version of System 1, there is a common plot sets that a user could use, and those are uh, three different ways you can set up data presentations, and that is current values, historical values, and startup shutdown. Now, I have created the three of these beforehand, and I've also created another uh, plot session that has a baseline overlay. Now, a baseline overlay is a, is a good way to analyze data so that uh, a, an expert user could set up a baseline of the system and say that baseline is a normal operation of the of the unit it might be right after you've overhauled the machine balanced it and aligned it and then subsequent users could use the overlay feature to overlay the latest shutdown perhaps over what was considered a healthy shutdown and on this installation I will maximize that plot for you so we can look at it and here we see that the baseline shutdown doesn't exceed 5 mils on this and yet the latest shutdown exceeds 20 mils on that shutdown and even for the um, uninitiated user you don't need to be a rotodynamics person to say that's different and I might want to call uh, a resource um, within the corporation or at headquarters or a machinery diagnostics engineer from Bentley, Nevada to help me understand what changed and is it dangerous or can I restart the machine. So that's the baseline overlay for a transient event and we might go over some tools that an operator might use for the system. So here's a bar graph. It's a very uh, comple uh, complete overview of everything in the machine and we'll look at another baseline overlay feature that even a non road rotor dynamics engineer or person can look at here we've set a baseline of the machine at a normal operating condition in the orange and here we see that the blue the most recent data is quite a bit different for one you can see it's quite a bit larger and um, and maybe more round. So again, you don't have to be a rotor dynamics guy to understand something has changed and it's changed a lot and we might want to call a resource in to help us understand what those changes are and is it dangerous for the unit or even people that might be around the machine. And again, we'll, we'll go over another baseline overlay scenario where we have a spectrum and this shows the frequency components. Again, we have uh, the orange is the baseline, and then the most current value of that same data set shows that there's a very high 1x vibration. And using these tools helps us focus in on what the problem may be and um, come to a decision on what those solutions may be. So these are some of the tools that you might use for System 1 for power generation and managing your plants. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.